Hello everyone. So we are starting our new lecture about the AWS Glue. We will try to understand what is this AWS Glue and where actually we use. Okay, so let us start. So what is AWS Glue? Before starting to AWS Glue, let us try to understand what is this ETL. ETL. ETL is nothing but a extract, transform, and load. Okay. So what actually happened? Let us try to understand. Okay. So what actually happened? We usually get our data from a different resources. Suppose you are getting your data from a web application. Suppose you have a IoT sensor devices. Suppose you have another device platform where you are generating a huge amount of data and the data is getting uh, continuously. Okay. So what usually we try to do? We actually try to extract the data and we try to do a some kind of the data cleaning process and all right. So this extracting a data from a different resources is nothing but a your extract. The first thing term is like extract. Means you are trying to extract our data from a different resources. Now what what actually happened after extracting? We actually try to perform some kind of a transformation because we are receiving a data from a different resources, right? So we actually try to do some kind of the data cleaning. We try to do a some kind of the transformation. Transformation is nothing but a, suppose you you want to perform a filter. Suppose you want to perform some kind of the joining. So this kind of the all the process con contain into a transformation layer. Okay. Once you do all this activity, you after that you try to load into a particular location that is your target location that is nothing but your load okay that is nothing but a load this is your final destination so this all the process is nothing but a your etl we call it as a etl okay to perform this etl we have a multiple things which actually we use like a, we have a informatica we have a uh, multiple things are also available like SSIS and all okay but in a AWS workspace if you want to do a ETL activity and also for that we use a AWS glue okay 